Now I know you know the building that is directly behind me. Ah, uh ah, -huh. it's the Colosseum. Yes, uh, one of the most recognizable buildings in the world. Uh, one of the most iconic buildings here in Rome, in Italy, in Europe, and one of the seven wonders of the world. It's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. So we're gonna go into it. We're gonna walk around it. We're gonna learn a little bit about it and take some amazing photos. All this, uh, all this you can see here, it was the backstage of the building. They couldn't organize anything without having a backstage. It was all covered by a wooden floor. On top of the wooden floor, they had nine centimeters of white sand of Sahara. Why that kind of sand? Because that was the best absorber for the blood. They were actually refreshing the sand a few times a day because of how many fights they had during the day. The main element was a surprise. Imagine that this was the floor of the arena. They had about 50 trap doors. They could pop up animals and gladiators at any time of the day from different corners of the, of the place. Then the late events, there were the main events, the gladiator fights. Who were these guys? They could be either prisoners of war, slaves, or volunteers, free men. For the first two categories, for the uh, prisoners and the slaves, the special prize after a seven year contract was the freedom. They could be in the next coaches of new generations of gladiators. For the volunteers, the special prize was the fame, the money and the women. Because the women, they used to go crazy for these guys. They were the superstars of the time. I know what you're thinking. You have this burning desire to watch the movie Gladiator with Russell Crowe. I feel ya. Now, I wanted to point out the building behind me here for a minute because I want you to take a look at the white marble. This is what all of the red and um, brick ruins used to look like. They all used to be covered in a white marble like that. fountain at the moment was actually something they designed in the Renaissance, although it was still built on the point of the ancient Roman aqueduct coming into Rome. When you look at it, you're going to see it's an absolutely phenomenal built um, fountain, it's amazing. Don't freak out about the wasted water, as I mentioned before, it's all coming from underground, so it's all natural, it's not being wasted by any means whatsoever. So here at the Chevy Fountain, you do a little thing called passing a coin, it's a tradition here. Uh, the meanings behind it is, one, uh, if you, you toss one coin, that means you're going to return to Rome. If you toss two coins, it means you're going to find love or get married. And three, if you toss three coins, means you're going to get divorced or marry an Italian. <laughs> one of the two. Okay. Ready? One. I'm coming back to Rome! <laughs> standing complete building anywhere in the world far from the pyramids in Egypt. Okay? This building is over 2,300 years old but they still to this day do not understand how they built it. All they know that the dimensions of this building are perfect. It's exactly the same wide as it is long. Where you're at? This is my pantheon. I know. Nile. 
I didn't know this, but over tw between 20 to 30,000 people visit the Vatican Museum or Vatican Palace every day. It's the most visited museum in the world. That's crazy. Um, and now we can kind of see why, because there's people everywhere. St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City. We're gonna go take a look inside. Let's get there.